Hello and welcome to week three of Snow Active. My name is Sammy Kennedy Sim, two time Winter Olympian and ski cross athlete, and it is my pleasure to be working out with you again this week. As I mentioned in week two's video, we are using resistance bands this week. Um, any kind of resistance band will work, whether that's TheraBand, a power band, or a tubey band, uh, whatever variation you have, the harder the resistance, the harder the exercise will be. Um, we're not going to need them just now though, we're going to get straight into our warm up. We will be doing the same warm up that we did last week 20 seconds of jogging on the spot, 20 seconds of high knees, and 20 seconds of butt kicks twice through then into our downward dog and seal rocks. So let me get that timer going and let's get cracking. Starting in 10 seconds, we're jogging on the spot. Starting in five. Off we go. I hope that everyone has had a lovely, lovely week. I hope that you enjoyed last week's program. I know I did. Can't wait to get into something different this week, introducing some new pieces of equipment. All right, high knees. And changing to butt kicks. Heart rate should be elevating now. Your breathing rate will be increasing. Next, we're gonna get back to jogging on the spot. In four seconds, three, two, one. Jogging on the spot. I'm certainly starting to get warm. <laughs> Okay, so like I said, we're gonna do five each leg. 
Okay, so let's get going. Hands on the hips to begin. Stepping up on the box for one. Other side. Up for two. Other side. Up for three. Other side. Four. And five. Did you notice that you had a sticky point or that maybe you were starting to shake a little bit? That's good. You just need to make sure that you breathe and maintain control through this exercise. Grab a quick drink while we have some rest. And we'll get ready for our second set. If you wanted to make this a little challenging, you could add some weight with a weighted vest or uh, if you had a barbell at home, you could put a barbell on your back uh, safely or you can increase your step height. Um, for me, this is a great challenging step height just below the knee in height for me, making sure that I'm keeping good engagement through my hips and my glutes as well as my core. Okay, let's go for set number two. Hands on the hips, stay nice and get engaged through the middle, excuse me. Off we go for one. Make sure that lowering phase is really nice and controlled. That is one of the hardest parts of this exercise, is making sure that we stay nice and controlled through that movement. You shouldn't just feel like you step off and get floppy. So stay nice and tight. Cool. Certainly gets the glutes nice and activated. And as we know, our glutes are important for skiing and snowboarding. All right, let's get ready for our third and final set. Get our alignment ready and off we go. For one. Control down. Two. we're kneeling on the ground. So this is a single arm exercise and we're going to be performing five reps on each arm and we're going to do that three times. So let's get set up. I'm using a long power band. If you have a TheraBand that will work as well. It just needs to be long enough to anchor it at your knee or your foot. So I'm going to anchor mine with my foot and I'm going to kneel like so. Starting position is that your hand is around shoulder height. Our press position is that our bicep will end up next to our ear. And then we lower back down. So do that again, starting here at shoulder height, pushing up and down. So we're doing five on each arm. All right, get yourself set up and let's get going. Starting position, up for one and control down. Up for two and control down. Up for three. Control down, four, and 
and five. Change sides. All right, left side, up for one, and down, two, and down, three, and down, four, and five. Shake those arms out. So a way to progress this exercise and to make it more difficult would be to use a stronger band. Um, if you don't have a band at home, you can hold a can of food or some small weight and practice that overhead controlled push. Two more sets of that. Make sure that our arms are nice and rested. Important to make sure that our posture is nice just because we're kneeling on the ground for this exercise. That core engagement is really important and we don't want to hitch to the side. We want it to be a straight punch up. So this time I'll do it front on for you. All right, let's get set up for set number two. Anchoring down our band, getting our body position nice. All right, ready to go? Set number two. Here we go, up for one and down. Two, three, four, and five. Swap sides. All righty, ready for our left hand side, set number two. Up for one. Two, three, four, and five. These power brands are great tools to travel with, especially if you don't have access to a gym. Um, you can add these to your squats to have more resistance. Obviously, they're very versatile, um, and I actually use these on the road as we don't always have a gym to go to. Um, so I found myself luckily prepared for this lockdown and this self-isolation period. Grab a quick drink if you need one. Dab off your sweat if you need to. Hopefully you do. Okay, one more set to go. Third and final set of our shoulder press. Let's get set up, right arm first. Okay. And off we go, one, two, three, four, and five. Swapping sides on our left. All right, one, two, three, four, and five. Awesome job. Give those arms a good shake. Grab a quick drink and let's get ready for exercise number three. For our next exercise, we're going to be using a resistance band around our legs. If you don't have a resistance band, that's fine. You can still participate in this exercise. So we're going to focus on our single leg control. So we need to have control through our midsection, control in our standing leg, and control in our dynamic leg. So to start with, we're going to kick back, like so. So stay nice and stable, slight bend in your knees. I like having my hands on my hips for balance. Also, it reminds me to keep my core engaged. And we're just going to slowly tip back and back to the middle. Touch back to the middle. So for step one, where that's all we're going to do, we're going to do five on each leg. So let's get set up. Try not to have our bands rolling up on us. Okay, let's go with our left leg first. So our right leg will be our standing leg, nice and strong and controlled. And we're just gonna to touch back for one, two, three, four, and five. Now we're gonna do our right leg. I'm just gonna turn side on so you can get a better view. So nice and strong on our left leg, keeping our, our core nice and tight. And we go back for one, light touch. Two, 
three and four. One more, five. Pretty challenging, isn't it? Grab a quick drink. For set two, we're gonna make it a little more challenging again. If that was enough of a challenge for you, you continue on with the single touch back. Uh, for those of you who would like to challenge yourselves a little further, we're going to add a double touch. So we're going to go back first and then to the side, maintaining that nice, strong, solid standing leg, lightly touching back and then side. So set up your therabands again. Okay, we're going to go left leg again first. Strong, slight bend in the knees, strong core. Strong standing leg, we're going to go back, side, that's one, back, side, that's two, back, side, that's three, back, side, four, back, side, that's five. Okay, here we go, whoops, start again, <laughs> we go back, side, that's one, back, Side, that's two, back, side, three, back, side, four, back, and side, five. It gets a really, really, really good activation pattern through your glutes, hips as we know in skiing and snowboarding, really important joints and really important stabilizers for us. This is another way for us to train them. Now, for our third set, we again can make this a little more challenging. So if you're happy with your double touch or your single touch, you go right ahead and do your third set of five reps each leg on those. Or you can join me in a multi-touch. Okay, for our third and final set, we're gonna do a multi-touch. So we're gonna do four point touches. So each leg gets set up, ready to go. Standing leg is that right leg. Away we go for touch one, two, three, and four, that's one. Two, three, four, five, changing legs, away we go, one, two, Stay nice and controlled through the midsection. Three. Four. And five. See how easy it is to progress that exercise? Obviously, if you want to make it harder again, you can increase the resistance band that you are using. Grab a quick drink and let's get ready for our next exercise. Okay, our next exercise is a banded row. I'm gonna do this in standing. What you need to do is you need to anchor your TheraBand or resistance band onto a doorknob or around a tree. I've got a very stable uh, half a squat rack here to, to uh, secure mine onto. What we're going to do is we're gonna start with our arms extended and we're gonna tuck our elbows into our waist and then straighten them back out. So the highest point of resistance will be when our elbows are at our waist. Okay, we are going to be doing 10 reps of this and we're gonna do that three times. If you can only do it by a single arm, that's fine. Just do five reps per arm. Okay, once you've got your band secured, standing nice and strong, arms out, slight bend in the knees. We're gonna pull back for one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. In order to make this exercise a little more challenging, you can double over your band so that you have double the resistance or work single arm. Grab a quick drink if you need one. Okay, set number two. And away we go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Making sure that our upper body is in good shape is really important for skiing and snowboarding. We don't want our bodies to be out of balance, so it's important that we work our whole body, not just our lower body. For those cross-country skiers out there, this is a great exercise for you, and you can build up endurance by adding more reps um, or also by increasing resistance uh, for those of you who are like my husband and enjoy a 50-kilometre cross-country ski. This is a great exercise for you. Um, if you're like me and you prefer to use a chairlift, this is also a good exercise for you to make sure that our core and our back are staying in nice, good condition. Okay, let's go for our last set. Increase the resistance if you need to. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome job. Don't forget that you can get bands in all different shapes and sizes, colors, and resistance. Uh, this thin green one is a lighter resistance. Um, you can go all the way up to a heavy black or blue band. Let's get ready for our next exercise. Grab a quick drink. Our final strength exercise for today are bear crawls. To set up for our bear crawls, we're gonna go into our hands and knees on the floor, knees underneath our hips, hands underneath our shoulders, and we're going to lift up the knees. Then we're gonna use our opposite hand and foot to walk forwards, backwards, sideways. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. This is a really challenging exercise. So let me get that timer set up. All right, ready in five, four, three, two, and one. Off we go. Try and keep your back as flat as possible. tough isn't it just using our body weight uh, the coordination is something else that I find really difficult but it is a great core exercise and it's promoting strength through our whole body so let's have a quick rest if you need a drink grab a drink I need to shake my legs out a little bit after that we'll get ready for our final set uh, sorry our second set getting ahead of myself all right, ready to go for set number two, 30 seconds. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, here we go. using our imaginations, using our strong core. One more set to go. Shake out those legs, do some wrist circles. 
If you're finding this exercise is a little too challenging for you, just do not raise your knees off the ground, but try and keep those movements nice and strong and controlled. Uh, if you'd like to progress this exercise and make it harder, you can wrap a resistance band around your uh, forearms, around your legs, or if you're very, very, very careful, you can add weight to your back in the form of a weight plate. All right, body weight's hard enough for me. Let's get ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, final set. Nice and controlled. Make sure you're changing direction. Hips down. exercises today but it's time for us to get some extra fitness work in great effort on all of those strength exercises today our cardio finisher is going to be circuit training we will be doing burpees standing tuck jumps and star jumps 30 seconds each effort 30 seconds of rest let me show you what a burpee is burpee we start we drop down to the ground kick our legs out into a plank legs back in Jump into the air. That's a burpee. Standing tuck jump, tuck, tuck, tuck. And our star jumps. So each exercise will be performed for 30 seconds, 30 seconds of rest. I have my timer set up. It will be at halfway through. So don't stop until I say so. Alrighty, let's get going. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Off we go. Burpees. Touch on to hard. Star jumps. Round. 
to make those tuck jumps are the hardest. <laughs> 10 seconds. Five. Let's go. Groups of five. Five seconds. Next up, we've got burpees. Third and final set in five seconds. Five. 
that we're done. Now we can focus on our active recovery, bring down our heart rate, grab a quick drink and let's recover. Active recovery starts now. 60 to 90 seconds. Walk around, whatever space you have. Get that breathing under control. My heart rate got pretty high in that circuit just then. I'm very sweaty. I feel awesome. your active recovery after your last exercise the better instead of just stopping right away if we can slow down the movements of our body we'll hopefully combat some of that delayed onset muscle soreness which I'm sure that we will experience after all of those great jumps those controlled movements earlier another 15 seconds your breathing should have relaxed, your heart rate should have come down. I think it's time for us to do some stretching. Wipe yourself down, grab a quick drink, and let's start our stretching. Go into my go to calf stretch, which is our downward dog. Single leg. Take some nice deep breaths. And change sides. All right. Grab one of your resistance bands, stretch our hamstrings. We're gonna go our right leg first. If you don't have a resistance band, grab a towel. We're gonna pop it around the base of our foot. Lie back and straighten our leg. If you prefer to have a slight bend, um, this will target a different part of the hamstring. Either one will do. Lengthen them out. If you want a bigger stretch, straighten that bottom leg. And swap legs. Left leg now. What an awesome workout that was. I'm certainly feeling it. <laughs> Take our right leg, foot, place it on top of our left knee, and we're going to pull through and hug our knee towards our chest. If you need a little extra stretch, place your right hand on your right knee and gently push that knee towards the front. Just a different way to stretch our glutes. Change sides, right leg down, left leg across. Maybe you can push that left knee to the front if you need to. Okay. Lying on our sides, you can do a quad stretch, Just rest your head in your left hand, bring that right foot up to the butt, pushing the hip forward, get a nice stretch along the front of the leg here. If you can try and bring that knee down towards your other knee, straight lines.
All right, let's change sides. So left, left leg bending up, foot to the butt. Take some nice deep breaths. Fantastic job on everything today, guys. That was a really challenging workout. As you can see, each week, we're throwing in new challenges for you, try and keep you entertained, but ultimately, get you nice and fit and strong, ready to tackle snow season. We don't know what that season will look like yet, but if we keep doing the right thing, hopefully we'll get a winter. All right. Sitting or standing, do our shoulders. Right arm into the left elbow crease across the body. Change sides. Don't forget to tag Snow Active in any of your posts on Instagram or on Facebook. We'd love to see how you guys are getting snow active at home. Bonus points from me if you have an animal that tends to get in, in amongst you as well whilst you're working out. I think my cat Sochi heard that today's session was going to be a little hard and decided to sit this one out. <laughs> okay, right arm in the air, bending over the back of the head and pulling the elbow across with your left hand. And the other side. Well, I certainly have had a fantastic workout today. I know my coaches will be very happy <laughs> to see that I've been working so hard. But ultimately, the best part is that I get to do it with you guys. I hope to join you for three or four more workouts this week in the safety of your own home. Please continue to do the right thing and stay home where possible. And let's protect our season and pray for a winter this season. I hope to see you all again next week. Bye.